Hi everyone, welcome back to Wolf Doubt Skyrim with me, Roaring the Werewolf. I'm a little sick at the moment, but that is still not going to stop me from making a video. We are here at the College of Winterhold, minus Serrano, because we left her at Fort Dawnguard to take care of some things over there. We will find the Moth Priest ourselves with, with not only just me, the Dragonborn, but I also have the very lovely Ilya, who is our new mage follower and has been tweaked to be a very proper and powerful mage along our side. Hopefully her AoE spells doesn't piss off the other two. <laughs> but we also gave her some conjuration spells and uh, quite a bit. She has quite a bit of healing. So we've tweaked her in order to whenever I'm like low in health to give me health at very random times because I've tested her her abilities here and there it, whenever she heals me it may glitch out and become like a loop of healing until I hit the next load screen now I'm not complaining about infinite healing but that, that's okay that's okay as always, the assassin mercenary Janessa is with me, and our f good friend and apprentice Kajaro, looking very, very stout. Trust me, with him shirtless, because he, he does this at Breeze Home all the time, he, he, he likes the heat on his fur whenever he's working the forge. Fracking cats. <laughs> they will sit and bathe in sunlight for some reason. He's actually kind of thin. He doesn't look this beefy. <laughs> uh, honestly speaking, this is take two because I got a new webcam and it has a microphone on it. And it was using its microphone instead of my headset microphone, which I am using now. <laughs> so the last two videos that I uploaded was me... Saving the Moth Priest, which is going to be this video. And a bonus video of me exploring the new immersive College of Winterhold. Because as you can see, it has quite quite somewhat changes. But we'll get that we'll get to that in the next video. Off to the library, the Arcadium. To find out where the moth priest, if he has been here and where he has gone. We have yet to start the College of Winterhold questline. We're holding off on that, as you can very well see. We just wanted access to the area so we can buy soul gems and spells whenever we get to the appropriate level. Now, I will try not to cough or sneeze while I am recording, but if it happens, I will, I will lower the volume during those periods of time if I'm unable to actually cut them from the video. <laughs> uh, yeah. As you can see, the Arcadium is quite clean. It has less clutter. Less clutter around and less of the books are just... just askew hey there guy <laughs> I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly are we clear why would I do something like that oh anyway let's see what you got for sale please make sure your hands are clean before touching anything all right <laughs> almost sounds like me at work <laughs> uh, the Abdalba, however you pronounce that. I <laughs> uh, will go ahead and collect that since it has a value of 52. And we're also collecting volumes. So anything that has a volume in it, we are collecting. So we can start stacking up our bookcases and making them look nice and pretty. All right. I need to find a moth priest. 
Have you seen one? A moth priest? What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Is it obvious? Read an Elder Scroll. Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priests make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. Dragonbridge, that's that's quite a ways. That's quite far away. Especially from the College of Winterhold. Oh, oh well. Let's be on our way. Now I have downloaded quite a number of mods since the last time I recorded. I will try to have them updated down at the bottom if I remember. <laughs> I know one of them is Immersive Patrols, which is an interesting mod, to say the least. And Ethereum Weapons and Armor, among other things. I also got rid of a mod or two, I think. I got to look at the list and compare what I have active and what I don't. But we're going to start stop by Hafengar Stormcloak Camp. And hopefully something interesting might happen before we head to Dragon Bridge and South Dragon Bridge. Now every time I port here, usually a dragon attacks. Well, let's see that happens. But first, let's take a look. Let's see what you got. Do you got anything interesting for me? Uh, no. Mm, nothing I can really use there. How about here? Nope. 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 <laughs> now we also gave Soul Trap to Elia. So whenever we have more than one target, she will put the soul trap on right the second target. What do you want me to carry? Uh, we don't. We didn't give her any soul gems, though. And let's go ahead and do that. I got plenty lying around. Um, let's give her ten common, ten greater. 10 lesser and 10 petty to get her started off right. I believe we also should. I think I already did. Yeah, I favorited the bow. So we would be able. Oh. Are you going to be one of those chicken shit dragons? Or are you are actually going to fight me? It's going to be one of those chicken shit dragons. Damn. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can probably nail him out of this guy, which is not going to happen. But let's get something fast in there. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. I think I gotta unfavorite my assault bow in order for this to look right. Okay. Uh, doggies. Uh. Damn, she. Damn, this crossbow is like. Fracking OB. It's reload time is ridiculous. I don't think I have any sp speed enhancing uh, reload for crossbows and, and bows. I don't think I have any of that. Hmm. That's interesting. 
And we got some Imperials right here. Okay. Okay there, buddy. Continue on. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, 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 oh. Can I double strength this bear? What is that woman doing? Get away from the bear. Get away from the bear. What kind of woman are you? You don't just sit there and attack a bear. Are you out of your fracking mind? Seen some mean spirited folk pass through lately. Thought I was rid of those sorts when I left Markarth. Well, did one of them happen to be a moth priest? A moth priest? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about that. I think. Try asking one of the guards. Oh, one of the guards. Okay. If I could find one. Oh, there they are. Hey there, buddy. We need to wipe them out before things get worse. I know, I know, I'm working on it. But do you know about a moth priest? Oh, so that was a moth priest then. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop, just headed south, across the Dragon Bridge. Okay. Alright then. Thanks, buddy. Why do you look so cold all the time? <laughs> Don't you worry about nipple poking. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. Why did I say something like that? <laughs> yes? No, you can't have my wheat. That's my wheat. <laughs> okay. Here for work? No. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Let's see, we have a bakery on this side in South Dragon Bridge. Uh, a couple of houses from what it looks like. Um, and we have a potion shop, which is right in there. And we have two vendors. Take a look. Ooh, Cyrodiil spice wine. I will take all that to go. <clears throat> How about you? Woman. Hey. Hey. I'm talking to you. Need some? Just what you see here. I'll take all your chicken eggs. Is that all you got, really? Okay. Well, let's continue on with the mission. See you later, buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. <laughs> I'm not your friend, guy. <laughs> hey. I'll take all that. Anything else? Ah, you don't need that. And we got a dead vampire right here. I'll take that, that, that. All of this. And a vampire note. I have new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of the Dragon Bridge. Take the Moth Priest to Fall Bear's holdout for safekeeping until I can break his will. Love, Mericus. <laughs> okay. I'll take all that. Lavender. Oh, what do we have here? Thalmor. 
Uh, whoa. Look at that armor. You want something from me? Maybe that armor? Oh, there's four of you and four of us. Um, I should go Bound Sword, Flame Skin. Okay. Um, Steadfast Ward. What, none of you want to talk to me? Speak quickly. Okay then. If none of you want to talk to me, let's quick save it. Because I don't want to end up getting a bounty if this leads up to a bounty. Get ready, guys. Hoo <laughs> Oh, you are so dead. God, they died pretty fast, too. Come on, Thalmor! Your soul is mine! Thou more scum. I'll take all your crap. You think you could come into my Skyrim with your stinking blood elvenness? Blood elf? Where the hell am I? World of Warcraft? <laughs> oh. oh. The remnants of World of Warcraft still linger. I'll take all that. And I'll take that that weird cool looking green armor of yours. Huh. Which one of you is brave enough to try on these these stupid elf armor? Kajaro? Why do you have the stinky cat face? Do you smell something funny? <laughs> You're taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Well, look outside. It's kind of warm right now. You cats and bathing in the sun. <laughs> ah, we saw another carriage right there. Let's take a look. Uh, Merchant's Journal. I begged my husband not to go, but he just wouldn't listen. He said if he delayed the shipment and even another week, the Legion would find someone else to take it south. Let them keep their blasted money. The road to Whiterun is dangerous these days. Everyone knows that so many caravans have been attacked. So many travelers have vanished into thin air. Some say it is only bandits, but there are rumors of worse. Goblins, ghosts, and witches? Twenty years we've been married now. I can't bear the thought of losing him. I am not letting him go alone, not this time. We live or die together. Mara, preserve us. Okay. Well, they died together. At least that, that, that's that. Hey there, Betty. I take the horse. And let's see what you left in the carriage for me. Oh, okay. Jump. I said jump. <laughs> jump. Oh, okay. What do we got? Oh, what's this? Unused shrine of our. Oh! That is. That is what we one of the shrines that we need for our home, for our breeze home. Oh man, he said a couple of them would be difficult to find. Guys, I didn't think it would be this difficult to find this goddamn thing. Frack me! All right, we got rid of some of those nasty Thalmor. 
And apparently, it is not needed to figure out where the vampires are going. Really? Messy, messy, messy. The vampires are slobs. Walk into Castle Volkir. Volkahar. Or however you pronounce the bloody castle. <laughs> and the whole place was a bloody mess. Literally, bloody mess. <laughs> Okay, we're going in there to save a moth priest. Let's do this. Rock on. Come on, guys. Let's see. Let's. Let me re equip my, my bow. Cause we're gonna do some shooting. I see mushroom. All right, we got a doggy right there. Hey there, doggy. Uh, arrow in the butt. Who? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ain't no shot. Ain't no shot. <laughs> now, where's that other fracking dog? Come here, Poochie. Hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. Come on, where the hell are you? There's supposed to be two of you. Oh, oh right there. Right there. Oh. Dead. Dead. Now where's the guy? Now that should be the guy right there. Ooh. Oh. Well, it looks like I, I disturbed everyone. Hey there, vampire. Ooh, nailed that bitch. <laughs> yeah, the arrow is just right there. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> uh, seems like I have no more black soul gems. And I guess the vampires don't fill up normal soil gems. Oh well. <laughs> uh, for a second there, I'm like, dog meats are not fruit? <laughs> fruit? Because <laughs> it has the icon of fruit. Look at it. Cabbage is a fruit. Carrots are fruit. Charred skaver meat is a fruit. <laughs> Yeah, for a second. Okay, where is my assault bow? There we go. We'll use my normal assault bow. Iron arrows. What the hell am I? Level one? I'm not level one. Where's my Nor Nordic arrows? There we go. Ah, that's prettier. Ah, there is somebody right there. You think you're taking a nap? Oh, ooh. Dead. You're dead. Oh, look at that. I'll take all of your stuff. Thank you.
That's not the end of it. In the eye. Hey there, buddy. Man, this bow is kind of strong. I might have to lower the, the damage. Look at that. Hey there, guy. Oh, I want that waystone focus as a collectible item, but but you can't you can't lift it out of the pedestal. Uh, I like collecting special items. Oh, isn't that cute? He's smelling her butt. <laughs> does it smell nice or does it smell decayed and dead, like a vampire whore? <laughs> Oh, hey there, buddy. Oh, Sorry about that guy. <laughs> what do we got in here? Ah, oh, it's just basic crap. Nothing special, nothing new. Alright, get ready, guys. He uses fire magic, so we're gonna use that. And we're gonna use steadfast ward. Alright, built up your defenses. I'm gonna have. Um, my Flame Ancient Arc out here, so we could have long range magic. And I'm gonna have Lightning Bolt myself. Come on, buddy. Get him! Get him! Get him, my friends! God, you raped this! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, you guys can stop. I know he, he like... Uh, Actions. Stop, relax. He's done. He's done. He's done. Hey. Calm down. Calm the fuck down. Okay. Thank the goddess. You arrived just in time. I think those vampires were getting hungry. Yeah. Are you alright? I'm quite alright, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claim they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. I know why they needed you. Because we need you for the same fracking purpose. You do? Alright then. Enough mystery. Well, uh, we are called the Dawn Guard, and we need you to read an Elder Scroll for us. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Well, there's a fort that is called Fort Dawn Guard. And it's right near Riften-ish area. It's like right there below Stendor's Beacon. Eh, I'm sure you can find it. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. Yeah, good idea. See you at the fort, dude. Now, even those those vampires are kind of stupid, kind of clever, going after the only moth priest in Skyrim. Pajar What is with your stinky face? <laughs> I, it, it's the vampires, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Trying to take the only moth priest here in Skyrim. So, if they 
managed to manipulate him and then set him loose and give us false information going back to Volcar Volcahar how we bloody pronounce the damn thing it would have ended up pretty bad now there should be a chest over here on this cliff like there is in the vanilla game and there is Oh, really? Just that? God. You hide a chest where it's just out of sight and then then you don't put anything in it. What's wrong with these people? Okay. Alright, I believe this is good. Huh. We did very well with ourselves. We should probably up the illusion magic though. Because I don't want to end up having a situation like it was before. You guys being all trigger happy and shit. I mean, calm down. He stopped fighting. I know he, he hurt you with blady stabby stuff, but... But Jesus, Janessa. You've been with me long enough. We don't need to kill unless I say so. <laughs> like those Thalmor bastards. You know this too. And don't encourage Ilya. She's new. She's impressionable. <laughs> Speaking of which, where the frack is she? Oh, there she is. Okay. Well, I believe this is a good stopping point for this video. Not that we saved the Moth Priest. Uh, more than likely we're going to head back to the college to make a little bonus video for you guys. And exploring the college itself to see how that is the new immersive very very good college <laughs> also need to look some stuff up on it and uh, see if we can see if there is a hotfix for for the little the, the the wind the wind is too freaking loud I don't know if you heard it earlier in the video it's it's, it's only there so it has to be the mod well, I am Roran the Werewolf. Thank you for joining me and watching this Dawn Guard part. <laughs> Whatever the frack is. I'm sick. I, it's, it's excusable. I'm sick. It's, you know what part it is. I put it down on the, on the thing below. <laughs> you guys stay furry. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.